I've just always been into drawing. It takes tons of time to come up with a character. And then eventually it was Pepe. It's a happy little frog. You like drinking and hanging out. It became Boys Club. It's one of the funniest comics of the last 10 years. Feels good, man. That was the frame that started it all. PP is the best. Pepe became a meme. I didn't even know what a meme was. There were all these boys trying to own each other on the message boards. In drops Pepe. Right for the taking. He had gone dark. The white supremacist movement has taken over Pepe the Frog. <gasps> Pepe escaped out there into the memosphere. It got so big that you couldn't reverse it. It seems incredibly random that this frog is going to represent white supremacy. Creating memes gave people who had never been involved in politics a way in. It was like making the internet real. I'm just a spectator to how things kind of evolve on the internet. It's a window into this dark place. Then it started to get strange. Pepe has permanently altered the course of history. Do you feel any personal responsibility for the bad stuff that has come out of this? Whatever Pepe meant to all these other people didn't mean the same thing to me. I'm doing everything I can in my power to shut these assholes up. Answer the question I asked you. Can we turn a recognized hate symbol into a love symbol? We can change the course of this thing. Suddenly, Pepe is being used as a symbol of hope. If you want to escape hell, you can't ignore it. You almost have to go to the center of it. Pepe the Frog is an omen, because it's not going to go away until we hear the message that it has to say. So how did you pick the name Pepe the Frog? It sounded like, um, pee-pee. To go pee-pee.